All right, it's Andy again from Real Handy Productions. Today, we're going to talk about nuggets. Now, nuggets are pretty much underrated because everyone's used to having crappy fast food chain type nuggets that are made from pressed leftovers of chicken processing. You don't want to know what the real ingredients in nuggets are, but because they're all the same shape and all pressed together, you could pretty much guess that it's just any nasty leftovers that whatever you've got. We're not going to make nuggets like that. We're going to make these nuggets that you see here. Everyone who has tasted these nuggets say that they're the best nuggets they've ever tasted. Right, so have a go. It's a pretty easy recipe. Uh, it is a bit involved. You will have to do some prep the day before. But it's pretty straightforward prep. It's not a hassle. You've just got to remember the day before you want to eat these to do it. You're going to need a few bits and bobs for uh, frying it. The vegetable oil there on the left. You'll need two or three cups of that. And all these other ingredients here. Three eggs. And all that, uh, all the powdery stuff for the coating. Uh, that's all listed down below. And we'll go through these individually when we get to them. You're going to need some cookware, of course, too. Uh, if you've got a deep fryer, just use that. But uh, I'm going low tech here, and we're going to shallow fry in a fry pan. Just so everyone can do it. Everyone should have a fry pan. And uh, we're going to need, on the right there, you can see some pretty big stainless steel bowls. They don't have to be stainless steel, but they do have to be pretty big. They have to be pretty big because we're going to swish around the coating mix in there to coat the chickens. Pieces, and we're going to need another bowl and just a measuring jug. Okay, so day before prep, we'll get straight into that. You need your chicken and you need some buttermilk. Okay, we, we don't need that much buttermilk, probably about half that, maximum two or three hundred mils, but we will need a bunch of chicken. Now, I'm using chicken breast here. These breasts I've got are about 300 grams each. Right, you can use up to about a kilo of chicken with this coating that we're doing. Uh, but I've only got 600 at the moment, so that's all I'm doing. Right, so you chop these up the day before into nugget-sized chunks. Pop them in a plastic bag, preferably Ziploc, and just pour in about half of that buttermilk. Uh, seal it up. Pop it in a bowl just in case it leaks and just whack that in the fridge. Okay, so next day we're ready to cook. We're going to need a few, those two bowls for two lots of coating mixes. We've got a bottom coat and a top coat and we're going to do the egg wash in between. So this stuff you see here in the picture, that's what you're going to need for the first coat mix. Right, the undercoat. Okay, so we've got corn flour. You're going to need one and a half cups of that. You could use rice flour instead. Any sort of fine, fine flour. It's got to be really fine. And paprika or paprika. You're going to need about a quarter of a cup of that. Anyone who's used paprika, paprika will, will know that a quarter of a cup is a lot. Just trust me. Use a quarter of a cup. Okay, and chicken stock... I've got the powdered stuff here, so I can just take out a teaspoon. If you've only got chicken stock cubes, just crumble it up as finely as you can. Okay, and we whack them all in a bowl, grind in a bit of salt and pepper over the top, and then we mix it up. And you should get a nice light pink powder like this. That's your first coat mix. Okay, so just put that aside in the bowl, and we make up the second coat mix. That's just about one and a half cups of breadcrumbs. And you want to put in your sesame seeds, about a quarter of a cup of them as well. So whack them in the bowl, give them a bit of a mix, and that's the coating mix ready to go. Pop that aside, and we'll get a couple of eggs. Uh, sorry, three eggs. If you're doing a kilo, uh, as opposed to my 600 grams I'm doing here, you might want four eggs. So you just want to just smash them into a bowl and just whisk them up. And uh, then we want to drain that chicken that we've had marinating overnight. I just chuck it in a colander in the sink and just make sure I wash away all that chickeny buttermilk. 
and uh, I'm going to show you in a video here of uh, the coating process. So I just take these out with tongs and chuck them in the first coat mix, the pink flower. Uh, get sort of up to eight in there at once and just give them a good squish around. And that way they get pretty well coated and I don't end up with a bunch of flour all over my hands, all over, all over my tools. Right, so I just scoop them up with a slotted spoon, just give them a bit of a shake, get the excess flour off them, and just stack them up on a plate. And once we've got all of the chicken done with the first coat mix, we'll move on to the egg wash and the second coat mix. Right, uh, just when, you, when you've got all of these done, which uh, I think I've got done here, there we go. You might want to just sprinkle a little bit more of that coating mix if there are any areas that aren't too well coated, just so they're nicely coated like this, you've got in this picture here. Then what we can do is just chuck them in the egg mix and put the final breadcrumb and sesame seed coat on. So again, I'm going to show you this process. Just going to chuck uh, half a dozen of the nuggets in there. Give them a bit of a squish. It's a bit dangerous swishing around the egg like this in a bowl that small. I've had a bit of egg go flying. Uh, so you might want to just turn them over with a fork or just use a bigger bowl like we're using for the crumbing. Okay, and it's the same sort of process. Once they're covered with egg, just chuck them in the bowl, give them a shake until they're well and truly submerged in that coating mix. And that should be all you need to do. And just you can just reef them out with a slotted spoon and um, stack them up with the rest of your nuggets. So I, this is the last of my batch. So I've got basically the whole lot sitting there on that plate. Okay, now like I said, I'm only doing 600 grams of chicken. The coating mix recipe is for more. So you'll find that you will have, as well as these juicy nuggets ready to go in the fryer, you're going to have a bunch left over. So feel free to do up to a kilo. They will get eaten. They are the most awesome nuggets just takes a bit of time doing the coating and doing the frying. So for the frying, you're going to want to put two or three cups of uh, that vegetable oil or canola oil, just a sort of cheap frying oil. Don't use extra virgin olive oil to deep fry in. Okay, just heat it up to a medium heat in the pan and I'll usually bung in just a couple of nuggets first just to test that the oil isn't too hot. Right? It's not too cold, you can tell because they're bubbling away nicely. If it was too hot, you'd find when you turned them over that they'd be getting really dark brown or black. If the oil is too hot, what you're going to want to do is obviously remove it from the heat, turn down the heat a little bit, wait about five minutes, put it back on the heat and try again. Right? It's imperative not to have the oil too hot because you don't want black nuggets. It's going to spoil the taste. It's going to spoil the look. And people are going to prefer those fast food nuggets, <laughs> which is not what you want. It's the opposite of what you want. Okay, so these are going to cook for about two minutes. They're just over halfway through now. Uh, they're only taking two minutes because there's only two in the pan at the moment. So uh, there's not, not much actual nugget to absorb all the heat of the oil. So they're going to cook quicker than when you, if you ch chuck in 10 or half or a dozen or whatever. Right, so these are nearly done. You can see that they're a nice golden brown there. Those sesame seeds are really sticking out. And uh, yeah, we're just turning them just to get them evenly cooked on all sides. And in a few seconds, we'll just give them a shake and we'll take them out and leave them to drain, get the excess oil off just by putting them on a, 
plate covered with paper towel. Okay, so that's one. That's our tester. Always have a test and a taste, of course, uh, of the first one, just to make sure everything's working okay. And you can see there's a nice, thick, crispy coating and that juicy buttermilk chicken in the middle. Um, awesome, awesome tasting nuggets. Okay, so now what I've got is the full uh, cooking of, of a, sorry, the cooking of a full load of nuggets, about 10 nuggets I chuck in at a time to cook. Uh, I've put the sound in this one, just so we can go through the whole process. You can get used to what they look like when they're cooked, what it sounds like when they're cooking. And uh, so if you get anything wrong with the cooking process, you can't blame me, because I showed you the whole thing, <laughs> okay? So, um, yeah, you can hear the sizzling there. You can also probably hear a really annoying drone in the background, and that's my extractor fan, because I'm cooking inside and I can't stand all this oil vapour going everywhere. I've got a pretty heavy duty extractor fan on. So that's that mm, sound in the background you can hear there. Okay, so yeah, just chuck them in. Uh, not too long before I give them a turn. You know, not even a minute. And then they've got to cook for another two minutes. So while they're cooking away there, I'm just going to explain that at the end when you serve these, you're probably used to serving nuggets with sauce because they're pretty plain flavoured things when you get them from a fast food chain and you need a sauce to give them a flavour. Not so with these nuggets, right? You will not need a sauce. You can just eat these by themselves. They are so tasty just from the buttermilk coat, uh, soaking and the coating with that paprika and the spices. It's just beautiful, right? But if you do need a sauce, because some people will find that um, you can't serve a nugget without a sauce, you know, serve it with a sauce. Uh, I've got some good ideas for sauces. Uh, if you go to our Real Handy Productions channel page, you'll see that we've got some other videos, a couple up on sauces. Uh, there's the Holy Chipotle Aioli, which is a really nice, smoky, slightly spicy one. It's a sort of family-friendly spice. It's basically got the smoky, spicy flavour without much of the heat. Really, really good sauce. You can use that with these. Or the other thing I'd recommend is Awesome Sauce, which is a lighter, tangier sort of sauce, uh, which is actually has a multitude of uses, one of which is a dipping sauce. Right? So you, you will have recipes for them on our channel page. Check them out if you want a good homemade sauce to go with them. But as I said previously, you don't need a sauce for these. These are standalone nuggets. Okay, so these are nearly done now. We'll just start taking these out. Only took three minutes all up with one turn and then I just checked how the underside was cooking. And uh, once we've got these out, again we'll just drain them on a plate with some paper towel and we'll have our bunch of nuggets pretty much ready to go so there you have it nuggets on a plate the best looking nuggets you have ever seen when we have them we just serve them really simply we'll just have them with like a bit of salad or in this case I've just steamed up some asparagus and what you can see in the background there is our uh, awesome sauce on top of it. As I said, you don't need a sauce with these nuggets. Um, try them, eat them, you will not regret it. If people don't say that they're the best nuggets that they've ever tasted, tell me what nuggets recipe they've tasted. I want to try it. Okay, hope you enjoy it guys. See you next time.